Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created our Angular project and we installed Angular material in it. In today's video, we will start implementing Spring security with JWT. So let's get started. First of all, we need to add the JWT util in our project. So we can perform operations related to JWT. So let's go here and create a new package. The package name should be utils. And in this package, let's create a new Java class with the name of JWT util. Let's annotate this class as component. In this class, uh, let's add our JWT secret. After this, uh, let's add the method to create the JWT token. So the method name is generate token and in the params, we should get the username and we will return a string. In this generate token method, uh, let's initialize our claims as empty hash map and then let's uh, call a method to build that JWT token. Now uh, let's write this create a token method that will accept claims and username in the params. Now uh, before writing the logic to create the JWT token, let's add the required dependencies in our POM file. To create the JWT and perform other operations, we need these three dependencies. The group ID for these is io.json web token. And then we need JJWT API, JJWT implementation, and JJWT Jackson. Now let's refresh our Maven. Now uh, let's go back in our JWT util and let's return here jwts dot builder and here we will set our claims and after claims we need to set the subject as username and after a subject we need to set the issued date for that we can use new date and in the params, let's give system dot current mills. Let's import this date. And after issue date, we need to set the expiration date. And uh, for expiration date, uh, let's get the uh, current time and then add a 10,000 multiplied by 6 and multiply by 30, which is equal to 30 minutes from now after uh, expiration key we need to sign this token so we will use sign with and in this method let's call a new method to get the sign in key and let's give algorithm as hs256 and at the end let's call the compact method after this uh, let's write the method get sign in key which will return a key and in this method uh, let's create a byte array and let's name it as key bytes and let's use decoders dot base 64 dot decode and let's pass here our secret after getting the key bytes let's format this key and return from here after this get sign in key, let's create a method to extract the username from our token. In this method, we will call an other method to extract the claims and in the params, we will give uh, the token and we will give that specific claim which we want to get. Now uh, let's write this extract claim method and here in this method, we will call an other extract all claims method. And then we will filter that specific claims from all claims and then we will return. 
now uh, let's write here extract claims now let's write the implementation for extract all claims and in this method we will return jwts dot parser builder dot set sign in key and here we will call our method get sign in key and then we will build dot parse claims jws and here we will pass our token and then we will get the body after this extract all claims method let's write a method to check the expiration of our jwt so we'll write is token expired and uh, this method will return a boolean and in this method we will call another method to get the expiration and then we will write before and then uh, the current date now let's write the implementation for extract expiration and in this method we will call our extract claim method and we will pass the token and in claims we will mention the get expiration after uh, this method let's write uh, the last method for this jwt util and that met method is validate our token and in this method we will get token and user details and we will return a boolean in the body of this method we need to get the username so we'll create a variable here and we will use that extract username method and we will pass here token after uh, getting username we need to check this username is equals to the username in the user details or not so we'll write user details dot get username and then uh, we need to check the expiration date of our token as well so we'll call is token expired and we'll pass token that's it uh, for this jwt util now let's uh, create our request filter that will be responsible to validate the token to do that let's uh, create a new package here and the package name should be filters and in this package let's create a class jwt request filter and in this class we should extend this with once per request filter let's annotate this class as component and let's add annotations for required arguments constructor after this uh, let's implement the methods and this is asking us to implement the do internal method before going into the implementation of do filter internal let's create the object for user details service and our jwt util let's import this and we will create user details service after some time now in this do filter internal method let's uh, get the auth header from our request to get the auth header we can write request dot get header and then we can pass authorization after auth header uh, let's create the variables to store our token and username after this uh, let's add a validation here to check our auth header if it is not null and if it is starting with the word bearer and in this if condition we will get the token from our auth header and we will save that token in this token variable after this we need to get the username for that we can use our jwt util dot extract username and let's pass a token after this if condition let's validate that our username is not null and our security contacts holder is equals to null after validating this we need to get the user details from our user details service and after getting the user details let's uh, validate our token 
for that we can write an if condition here and we will call jwt dot validate token method and let's pass here token and user details in this if condition we are sure that our token is valid so uh, let's create the user password authentication token and after this uh, let's uh, set the details of the request in our auth token and then we need to update our security contacts holder with the latest auth token and at the end let's uh, call filter chain dot do filter so we can proceed with other validations and in the params we will give request and response and our JWT request filter is uh, completed. In the next video, we will write implementation for our user detail service and we will write our sign up API call.